So let me start off by saying the following. In the brain, what does the brain respond to more when it comes to pleasure? Is it sex or chocolate? Uh-oh, you're putting me on the spot, but I'm going to have to tell you it's chocolate. Thanks. Boy, that makes me feel good. And what do you chocolate. think? What do you think the brain responds to more when it comes to the pleasure zone? Yes, it is absolutely chocolate. So, one way to phrase it, if you're not getting enough sex, load up on chocolates and you'll be fine. See, you didn't expect that. So what are we going to be talking about today? We are going to be talking about the wonderful world of chocolate because we wanted to pick on a topic that we knew everybody would like. So here's the question. Is there anybody that doesn't like chocolate? I've heard of a few people, not many, but remember there are different kinds of chocolate. Oh, yeah. So there, everyone has a different kind of taste. There are some people that might even be allergic to chocolate. But yes. I mean... But generally, no, really. speaking, generally, generally speaking, generally speaking, no. generally speaking, we like chocolate. We like it so much that in the world, every year, one hundred and forty billion dollars billion with a B oh is spent goodness. on the chocolate industry. And now, you know what? I've uh, helped them a little. Uh, you have. Yes. <laughs> so uh, let me go on to something else that would might seem interesting. Let's assume for a moment. You had these four chocolate items in front of you. Okay. And you were only allowed to pick one. And here are the four. It is Kit Kat Bar, Toberlioni, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, or Snickers. Which one would you pick up? Snickers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Toberlioni, or Kit Kat? Which one would you pick up? The Peanut Butter Cup. Peanut butter cup. And which one do you think I will pick up? I think you know. The Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Which one will you pick up? Did anybody say Snickers? Why? Snickers is the number one selling candy that is out there. Snickers is the number one candy. And you probably, you probably, it's probably because it has caramel in it. Uh, caramel uh, and chocolate go well together. All right. It has a mixture of peanuts, caramel, and uh, it's wrapped inside a layer of chocolate. It comes with hazelnuts. They love it. Number two is peanuts. Uh, pardon me, peanuts. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Yes. Number three is Toberly. Number four is Kit uh -oh. Kat. Now, here's something you probably don't realize. There is a chocolate ice cream that is the number one chocolate ice cream in the world, in the United States. What do you think? Cherry chocolate? Uh, I need a name brand. Any oh, idea? I need one. a name brand. Agenda. Uh, nope. Nice try. Ready for this? There's even a soap named after it. A soap named after it? Or a soap that has a similar name. I scratched that. A soap that has Dove. a similar name. Dove. Dove. Exactly Dove. right. Dove. Cadbury uh, Dairy Milk is the next one. Twix. Milka. And now, the Three Musketeers is the ninth one. Here is what's going to surprise you. Is there a brand that I missed? That we all grew up with? Yeah, but what is that? Ah, this will shock you. What? Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar is number 10. Wow. And guess what didn't even make the list? Have ne they ever been up on top? In the beginning when they created the wow. industry. And guess what else is not on the list? It'll absolutely surprise you. Cadbury? No. Uh... I don't know. Oh, I used to love it. It comes in a blue package. It's wrapped in like aluminum. Oh, Hershey's Kisses? No. Ne Hershey's Kisses, yeah. And uh, we'll talk about that I later. Don't know. I don't know. Nestle's Crunch. Nestle's Crunch. Did not even make the list. Wow. I'm and surprised. I'm going to go on just a couple more facts and then I'm going to turn it over to Carol. And that is, you know when chocolate first became available or really known? 2000 B.C. 2000 BC, BCE, and it comes, as you know, from cocoa, which uh, which is what chocolate was created from. And at one time, it was a way for currency because what happened? It was, in fact, used in the Mayan culture as currency. So, 
Carol, what do you have for us to talk about this wonderful world of chocolate to keep well, everybody interested? 